Okay, now back back to Somerset County. It is my pleasure to introduce you to one of my all-time favorite candidates, a guy who didn't give up. The Abraham Lincoln, they say, ran four times, five times, six times before he won. This guy only had to do it three times. But he understood that doggedness and persistence, as well as a willingness to represent the people you're asking to vote for you, is going to get them elected ultimately. So my friend Joe DeMarco, who I hope is going to be our next freeholder, Joe. So I've been uh, knocking on doors since July. I went out on July 5th, which was that heat wave. It was about 102 degrees. And people in Manville said, what the hell are you thinking? Um, I'm thinking I want to be the next freeholder in Somerset County. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, but it's now August, pushing September, and the funny part is, you know, I start realizing I'm tired. But I'm not tired from knocking on doors. I'm not tired of talking to people. I'm not tired of having meetings with Peg. I'm not tired of asking people for money. I'm tired of losing in this county. That's what I'm tired of. All right? We should all be sick and tired of coming in second. Year after year, we've run highly qualified people and we haven't crossed the threshold. We can go back and look at every person who ran for freeholder or sheriff or surrogate. They're all qualified, they're all committed, they all should have won. The question we have to ask ourselves is, are we tired enough of losing that we're willing to do something to win? All right, we have nine phone lines here, we got desks, we got 28,000 phone calls that we need to make. That's uh, about 166 hours worth of phone calls. We need people, we need the phone calls made. There's doors that need to be knocked on. We've committed to knock on 9,000, 3,000 a piece. I do about 250, 300 a week. I don't have a problem with that. I am not tired of that. It's what I want to do, because on November 2nd, I want to sit in this room and say, we're not tired anymore. We're celebrating. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Joe.